guys welcome back to another tutorial hope you're doing well in today's video i'm going to be showing us how to make this asymmetric turtle neck top i'll be using two and a half yards of uh, chiffon fabric so let's go ahead and fold our fabric so we go ahead and fold our fabric into four i'll fold it into two fours like this and then into four the other way i'm using my pin to hold the fabric down My fabric is folded into four, so I'm making use of the whole 2.5 inches. So the length of the blouse or top is 52 inches plus sewing allowance. We'll go ahead and place the measurement. So I'll be using the, this whole part. I'll be making use of 29 inches. So this is 29 inches. I'll use the one inch for sewing allowance. I will go to this side and place the neck measurement instead of using three and a half inches i will use five inches because i'm going to be making a little gather there so i'll mark five inches that is the wideness of the neck i will mark 1.5 inches for back depth and 3.5 inches for front depth So we connect the back neckline. We connect the front. Right on this side, I will mark 1.5 inches for shoulder slope. I will connect the shoulder slope to the neckline. I'll be adding about two inches band here. I will place the round sleeve. The round sleeve is nine inches. So if you divide it by two, you have 4.5 inches. I'll be making a gather here. So I will add to the round sleeve. So I'll be making it 10 inches. I'll add one inch for sewing allowance. That's 11 inches. I place 10 inches here, add one inch for sewing allowance. That is 11 inches. So let me make a straight line here. And right from this 11 inches, I will come inside by 6 or 7 inches. I will come inside by 7 inches. Is that you come inside by 7 inches or you divide your hip measurement by 4? and add about 10 to 12 inches to it so what i'm going to do is to take this all the way to the bottom part so as i'm marking it then i'll open it up a little bit so i will make it in form of a line i'll make a curve here So I will go ahead and cut it out. So I will cut the back neck one first before cutting out the front one. I will cut out the front neck line. So I will open it up. We will be cutting out one side. I will lay the front against the back side. So it's, it's up to you the side you want to cut out. You can decide to cut the left. You can also decide to cut the right side. So I lay the front and the back against each other. Make sure they are facing each other. So I will go down four or five inches right from the hip measurement, right from the shoulder. 
and we measure the hip measurement which is 25 inches so right on this hip measurement that we come down by 5 inches so we take it right from the side here this is 5 inches below the hip measurement I will take it I will take it to middle side I hope you guys can see it so right from here this is about 5 inches below the hip measurement we we'll take it like so You just make a curve and bring it to this side here. So you ignore the other lines. When you start taking it right from this side, the ends here, you curve it to meet these five inches below the hip measurement. I will go ahead and cut it out. This is how this side is. I will split the back side. I will look for the back midpoint and make about six inches split. This is the midpoint. I will make about six inches split. It's very simple, very easy to make. So what I'm going to do is to join the shoulders together. I will join the shoulders and join the side. I will stitch this side and stitch this side. I will use one inch to join the side and use half inch to join the shoulders. So guys, I'm done joining the side and the shoulders together. This is the low side and this is the high side. So what we are going to do is to cut the neck band and the band. I will be cutting out the band and the neck band. So this is the band. The round sleeve is 9 inches. So I, cut. I cut out 10 inches. I will use 1 inch for sewing allowance. And the band is 3 inches folded into 2 plus sewing allowance. What I'm going to do is to open it up like so. Use one inch to stitch the side. So I'll be adding a gather to the neckline, just a little gather. I want the round neckline to be 17 inches. So let me measure what I have here. I have 24 inches here. I will gather it up to 17 inches. I will take it to my machine and use my gather stitch to gather it up to 17 inches. So we'll cut out the neck band. I'll be cutting out 17 inches. I will add one inch for sewing allowance. So I'm cutting out 19 inches. I folded it in two because I'll be cutting out two at a time. I will fold it again. I will fold the 19 inches into a two again. I will look for the midpoint. This is the midpoint. So I will go to this side here. I will go up by three quarter of one inch. So I will just go up by one inch. I'll connect it like so. I want my neck band to be 2.5 inches plus sewing allowance. So I will just mark 2.5 inches round. I'll go ahead and cut it out.
you have a stretchy fabric in this color, you can use the stretchy fabric for the neck band and the, the wrist band. I will iron a fabric interfacing on it. This side will be attached to the neckline. I will leave half inch on sewed here. I will stitch it like so. I will bring it down, leave half inch here. So this half inch will be used to attach to the neckline. So guys, this is the gather. It's just a little gather. You can decide not to add gather to it. You leave the wideness of the neck three and a half inches if you decide not to add gather to it. I just want to add a little bit of gather. So I've gathered it up to 17 inches. The round neck is 17 inches. I've also sewn the neck band. I ironed interfacing on one side. So I stitch it here. I will turn this inside out. So we attach it to the neckline. I'll make sure I iron it before attaching it. We place this inside. Like so. The right side of the neck band is facing the wrong side of the dress. I will use half inch to stitch it round then turn it like so. And use half inch to cover up the first stitch, stitch it round again. I will also attach the band. So I've stitched the band, I will fold it like so. I will match the side seam together. I will turn this to the wrong side. So this is the right side. I will tuck it inside. I will make sure this side seam matches with this side seam here. So I will take it to my machine. It as I sew it, I will gather it to fit in this band. I will use our finish to stitch it around. So guys, I finished attaching the neck band to the neck. This is the sleeve band. Make sure you hem the back slit. I take it a quarter of an inch twice. Hem it round before attaching the band to it. So I will add the pressing button here. I don't want to hem the bottom part. So this is the down part. So I'm not going to be hemming the damp part. I use a lighter for the edges. So that's it for today. Thank you so much guys for watching. I will see you in my next one. Please give this video a thumbs up. I love you. Bye.